Good morning, family. Good morning, family. Don't forget, grow some trees, grow some food, grow something. Let's get started. Hey family, so I am super excited today. Tomorrow is the first day of Sukkot and this is gonna be my first time ever actually celebrating Sukkot. So I didn't actually build a sukkah, but what I'm gonna do is we have a 12 by 12 pop-up. I'm gonna use that and I've already cut palm branches and uh, I'm gonna cut a few more and I've got a few other things that I'm gonna use to set up. So like I said, I'm super excited. And uh, as you can hear, my husband's out there cutting the grass and uh, I'm gonna get ready to uh, start building in a second. So I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So stay tuned. So as you all know, we have tons of palm trees here in Southern California. So the other day I came out here just before the Sabbath began and I cut a few fronds off. And I have them waiting over here. My husband's out front, like I said, cutting the grass. And when he is done, I am going to be decorating my sukkah. All right, so as I said before, I do have palm fronds. So I'm gonna use these large ones to decorate the corners. And then I'm also cutting the smaller ones off of the little pygmy palms here and my palms are actually fruiting right now so I am going to use these as decoration so right now what I'm doing is I'm going through and I am cutting off all of the spikes on the ends of these little pygmy palms the date palms because I want to make sure no one gets poked or the kids don't accidentally bump into something and you know get stuck with these if you guys saw one of my former videos you know that uh, I've been stuck quite a few times with these things and they go through your clothes through your shoes through your gloves so I'm gonna go ahead and just cut these off all right guys got a lot done even though it's kind of hot As I said before I'm using a 12 by 12 pop-up I have plenty of palm branches. So what I did is I took palm branches and I attached them to the outer legs. And now I am doing the inside with the smaller palm fronds. And uh, it's coming along pretty well. All right, so got most of the greenery up. I am going to be hanging two sets of shears on one side. Probably the side that is actually facing the street. I need to hose these chairs down and bring out the cushions for them. I'm also going to water these plants here really, really well. And uh, and I think I'm going to hang some shears on this side, leaving an opening to get in, and then also a couple of shears on this side. It is still really hot out here. We're still in the low 90s now, so I want to make sure there is a breeze that comes through. But uh, so far, so good. I'm liking what I see. Okay, I keep having to take breaks because, <laughs> like I said, it's hot. But uh, I did put the curtains up on this side. I have them tied up right now because I am going to turn the sprinklers on in a little while. And uh, I'll let them down as we need them. And I'm gonna add a few more curtains around. And that's gonna be it for today. Tomorrow, I will bring the table and everything out for our meals. I'll set them out here. I will be doing all of the kids' lessons outside. And uh, they'll be doing all of their snacks outside also. So I know I mentioned that we don't have willows around here, but I did order these artificial willow branches off of Amazon. 
I got two five foot lengths. I think they were like $13. So I'm gonna be adding these also. All right, so as you can see, I did make a few changes. So what I ended up doing was moving the shears over here to use as my door. And I ended up hanging what are actually Dollar Tree shower curtains. They're tied up right now because we do have a bit of a breeze that keeps kicking up. So I'll drop them down tomorrow and attach them together. But as for now, this is going to be about it that I'm doing. And I will bring the rest of the chairs and everything out tomorrow. And this is an absolute must right here. Cannot live out here without it. All right, so my suka is coming along. I'm not gonna set the candles out yet because like I said, it's hot and Wax and heat, as we all know, do not mix. So as you can see, the little cheap shower curtains that I found at the Dollar Tree are working fine. I think I'm gonna go grab a couple more. And uh, I've put seating all the way around because of course we are still social distancing. I need to go and get one more cushion out of the shed. And I'm going to cut those down to size and stick them over here in this jar. Yeah, I got a stain down there on the floor, but you know what? I'm not too worried about that. And yeah, I think we're gonna be all set. I'm still gonna hang some lights up here so that we'll have a little more lighting. And I am going to bring the little fire pit that I, uh, made a couple of weeks ago because it does have centronella oil in it and it's going to help with the mosquitoes everything out here i don't have to worry about it breaking because you know it's melamine and as you can hear i got little ones you need socks on man you need socks on and um, <laughs> i don't want to worry about anything breaking so I'll show you guys the final product in just a minute. <laughs> so it is the end of day three out here in the suka and I have to say that I am really enjoying this time. I've been getting eaten up by mosquitoes so you know gotta do uh, centronella candles and uh, centronella fire pit <laughs> but I have really been enjoying this time. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video. Tonight is the Sabbath. And as you guys can see, we are finally getting some rain here in California. So it is so peaceful just sitting out here listening to the rain hit the top of the suka. So we've got three more days to enjoy this. I hope you guys are having a blessed week. I hope you have an amazing weekend. And I will see you all in the next video.